Hello YouTube, thought we'd do a quick video here. This video is going to be how to install your repeater cable that's going to be for uh, either the Redivis RT9000D or the TYT9000D. This can be for the GMRS version or the HAM version. Now before I get into this video, there's a few things I want to point out right away to be clear about. The first thing is, this cable, the term that they people use is called repeater cable. I don't really like that term because it kind of sounds like you just need this cable and that's all you need and now you can make a repeater. That's not the case. You're going to need some type of interface board to go along with this repeater cable. Whether you're going to use it for one radio or two radios, you're going to either need to buy an interface board or either make one. Okay, so that's one thing I want to point out. The second thing I want to point out right away, due to manufacturing differences in the radio, you may have to make the holes on this connector bigger. Now, you can it's not a big deal. You can use a, a, a drill bit. You can use a Dremel tool. You can use a metal file. Or for that matter, if you take a side cutters, and you can either, you know, even cut out the a little bit of the end here to make it bigger. Whatever way you want to do, you, you may have to do that. I'm not going to do that because I don't know which way people may like. The, you know, some people are kind of picky about how that's done. So I'm going to leave that up to you. But just be aware of that. Okay. So the other thing I want to mention is this cable is going to be wired up the same way as other repeater cables that are out there okay the difference is mine uses a smaller plug that seems to fit better than the white plug versions that are out there but it's going to be wired the same way and what i mean by that is let me show you the wiring diagram and the wiring diagram i'm going to show you is the wiring diagram of the pinout on the db9 adapter so let me show you that because there's something very important I want to point out now this is how the the um, back of the DB9 adapter is going to be um, but notice pin 6 of that connector is plus 5 volts so if you're going to make an interface board or you're going to buy one or you know whatever the case may be uh, just keep in mind that pin 6 is 5 volts also uh, do not take a USB DB9 adapter and try to plug it in directly. It will not work and you could damage the radio or the USB DB9 adapter because pin 6 has 5 volts that's coming from the radio. Now if you're going to build your own interface circuit you could use that 5 volts to help supply power to your little circuit but just keep in mind don't draw too much current you could possibly damage the radio. So I just want to point this out. Now, this diagram and I, this video also, besides on YouTube, and the um, installation guide, I have a written guide, and now this video, all this is going to be on my store. Okay? So I just want to let you know about that. Now, also, too, on my store you're gonna have an option to either get one cable or two cables because there may be times you don't need two cables you just want one so keep that in mind if you're gonna try to hook up two radios make sure you select add additional cable uh, when you go to my store if you're not going to you just want one then you just will just have the one cable so keep that in mind also so now with all that said Let's go ahead and get to how do you install this. It's really simple. What you're going to need is a Torx head, a T8, or a star bit. But as long as a T8, it will fit the four screws that are in the radio. I'm not going to show you how to remove screws because I'm going to assume you know how to do that. So also note that we're doing it on the side. It does not have the speaker. Not this side, this side. So once you remove the four screws, you're going to take the cover off. Now, whether your radio is new or used, there's probably going to be a sticker over the, this hole 
Take a little screwdriver and pry off the sticker so you can get to this opening. This is the opening that the, that the connector is going to mount to. So once you do that, now you take the connector, you fish it through. Now the connector can only go one way, meaning that the if you look at the hole, there's a wide end and there's a narrow end. Okay? And the bottom here is the narrow end. So this connector can only go in one way. And what I mean by that is if you try to if you try to go the wrong way, it doesn't fit. So you gotta flip it around to get it to fit. Now is a good time to check to see if your holes line up before you plug this cable in. Uh, you know, try to take a look and see if they line up. If they do, great. If not, you'll have to make them a little bit bigger. Once you're done with that, you fish the cable through. Make sure it goes in this notch here so that the wires don't get pinched with the cover. Now, this plug on this end is going to have a tab. This tab goes into this uh, on this connector, there's a notch, so the tab has to line up with the notch. Now, if you're holding the connector like this, you want the tab to be on the left side of the radio. Okay, I like I said, my installation diagram uh, that I have on the store will show you this, and I'm going to show you a close-up picture. I'd show you with the camera, but it's it's kind of difficult to zoom in. So this is how. Let me get the picture out. I'm going to show you the close-up here of that. Now, if you notice, you see how the this is the left side of the radio. This is the front of the radio. That tab's got to be facing the left side. It might be hard to see, but there's a tab on there, and that's got to be facing the left side. If you notice, this connector has a flat spot right here. Hopefully, you can see what I'm talking about. That's also facing the left side. Okay? So... Make sure you pay attention to that so you don't plug in the cable the wrong way. Once you get that set so that's on the left side, it's just a matter of plugging in the cable like that, and that is all. Now you put your screws in and plug back here, and you're pretty much all set. Now there's one little tip that I will say that makes it a little bit easier, is when you do this, get yourself a long nail nose pliers to kind of help hold the screws because, you know, if you got fat fingers like I got, you can't, you know, do all this. But you use a screwdriver, you know, to, to help hold the screw while you screw it in. Let me move the radio up here. And then just use that to help hold the screw while you screw it in. So that's, you know, that may help um, you get this on there. But once you get that all screwed in, then it's just a matter of making sure this wire stays in the notch. And then just put the cover on, and then there you are. That's how simple it is to plug these cables in. Okay, um, I'll post a link to my store that has these in the description below. Any comments or questions, please post them uh, down below. And I'll, like I say, I'll post a, in, in the uh, description, I will post a link to my store that has these. So any questions or not or whatnot, go ahead and post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.